Hello. Hello. We're going to make some deer. Excellent. Yes. I love me some deer. Yes. Turkey. <laughs> I feel like it's been a long time, but I guess it hasn't really been a long time. What did we do last? Well, we just filmed the tacky, tacky wrap. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, We're bears. 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 No. A, a mini tutorial. Okay. It has been a while then, because we can't remember. We are going to use the tacky wrap on this project. Although, if you don't have it, um, your kit comes with pipe cleaners, which is what we have done in the past. So today the project is a dough and fawn. And the supply pack has plenty of fiber um, for one of each. And I'm going to go through both projects. I'd say this is not a, your first project. Um, you're going to have much more success if you have a few things under your belt. And we have the tutorials in order on the website um, by difficulty, right? By beginner and intermediate, um, right? Well, we have a lot. <laughs> and this just because there's some, what makes the dough and fawn, dough and fawny, is the, the delicate um, face and legs. So the body comes together really pretty simply, and the shapes are actually pretty simple, but just having that control of the wool and your tight wrapping and your small little pieces, especially when you go to make this, this little face, it's, um, you know, pretty, pretty delicate is all I'm saying. Yeah, you got to use <laughs> teeny bits of wool, people. Right, right. So um, in addition to the tutorial and the supply pack, you will need a felting surface and needles, and I use, um, I mean, I'm using Tacky Wrap, I'm using the Zoli tool, I'm using, what else am I using? Pretty much the minimum of felting surface and needles. Your mad skills. Yes, mad skills, which you're going to have because you've done something previous to this. Yes. <laughs> um, and what else do I need to say? This, this so we should a, just... This is really exciting. It is exciting. It's a really fun project. And these come together, like I said, it's pretty simple. The shapes themselves are pretty simple. I'm thinking the face is a little tricky. It's just keeping it small. Okay. That's the, it's, it's very, you know, it's just a cone and, um, and, like, and not too many shapes, but just keeping everything small. That's the trick. Oh, um, swax. I'm going to use swax on the feet. So the swax... Um, is also not totally necessary, but it does um, help hold that fiber on. Um, but you can you can do the project without it as well. I, I would tell some deer jokes, but I'm not fond of them. <laughs> oh well, then we're just going to save everybody a bunch of sighs and groans. Well, that that was the pun. Did you did you get I did. That? I did. Okay. I, I have a few things <laughs> up my sleeve. I did get it, but I was I was you know, looking beyond the pun to the actual reality of, <laughs> of, of a tutorial with no jokes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a good time. Okay, we should get started. Yes. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. We're going to start with the deer, um, the mama, because it's the same techniques on the fawn, but actually making it smaller is a little trickier. So we'll get the practice in on the deer. And we have, just to help you sort of identify what's in here, um, a couple of colors of top coat. We have um, acorn, which is one of our house carded bats, and tawny. And I like these two together, but to keep it from being too kind of golden yellowy, we've also put in, hold on, it's a little, just trying to get to everything here. We've also put in some chestnut. So these are all, all your little accent colors. So just a thin layer of chestnut, so you'll see that. But really, what you need right now, these are all more just little detail colors, is the off-white core and the wire. Big ball of off-white chunky core. 
It's the basis of most of this project. The dough is made on the aluminum wire and the fawn is made on the 22 gauge wire. So I'm going to set these aside for now. And you've got two wires and you want the shorter one to start. And this is going to be the head, neck, and front legs. So this is where, you know, in this video, I'm not going to talk about, you know, wrapping wire evenly and um, you should have a couple of armatures under your belt. Um, but we find the center of the wire by folding it in half and working back towards the center. And then we're going to twist together four and a half inches. So just gently, I'm not cranking it really tight. I want to make sure that they marry together evenly, equal pressure on the wires. And that's about four and a half. Let me grab my ruler so you guys can see. Um, See exactly. You have to work your way around all kinds of critters. I know. Rots and rots. Ooh. Ooh so we have a weird glare. Spot on. Where? That uh just the way it's showing. Oh, now okay. you've got it. As long okay. as it's tipped, you're good. Okay. So that's four and a half. And then the head is about one and a half. And the um Uh, about one and three quarters yeah so I mean not quite two inches like that then your second wire you're gonna find the center you pretty much always start with the short one pretty much always I'm trying okay. to think if there's some, sometimes they're the same length I'm trying to think if there's an animal that has because the second one is normally the back, back and okay. hind legs so it's usually longer you put the point of the mountain at the base of the neck and we want to wrap the short wire and the long wire together on each side um, two times. So we want the, the long wire to come back towards us. That's one. That's two. These, this wrap can be a little tighter than the um, head and neck wrap. Now you're going to bring the two long wires together. I kind of take a look, make sure you don't have them shifted, like the shoulder shifted, um, you know, so that this wire is longer than this one. Make sure you've got that alignment and then bring them together. You can leave this triangle here and you want the back to be also to be four and a half inches. So that is from the front leg to the end of the twist. Deer have a really nice, I'm going to do one more, square kind of shape to them. So I'll show you two, three, four and a half. I don't know, just visually, I feel like it needs one more, so that's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, the front legs. Five and a half inches. So, let me see what I have left here. Yes, I have five and a half inches, so that should be good. And we try to make the armature wires just a tiny bit long because what I want you to do is work not to the length of the wire but to the correct proportions for the animal and then if you need to you clip a little bit off or fold it you know fold it to make up um, to make everything even so we're gonna have an elbow at one and a half inches and they have a knee here and then um, they have a um, a little pastern 
which we want about three inches from the elbow. Yeah, about there. And then the foot, you're gonna bend about a half an inch back around to make the foot. And we want like a nice closed little, little foot. They just have a tiny foot. So we got inch and a half for the elbow, three inches to that pastern, and then fold that foot around. What you doing? What do I need? I was just looking, but I see your Zoli tool hiding. I do have it. I do have it. Okay, so that's the front legs. And then on the hind legs, we want them to be at least six inches long, that remaining wire. Mine's a little over, so that's good. And, but I'm not gonna cut it until I shape it. And then if I need to cut it, I will. So we want um, the knee or stifle at one and a half inches, kind of matches where the elbow is. And this one wire always gets a little, because it sneaks out of the twist earlier than this one, just be aware that you're still making your legs the same size. And then you want a hock about two inches from that. That's um, a backwards bend. And then, I'm just checking here. Yep, so one and a half. Two might be more like that's just about two, yeah. I'm winging it, but I should measure. And then another one and a half or one and three quarters to that pastern, and then fold your little feet over. Nice long legs, basically. This leg's a little shorter so I'm folding less over and then I can check it. It's good. In your kit is five pipe cleaners and um, what I've been doing instead of wrapping pipe cleaner I've been using tacky wrap on the aluminum wire so that I don't have that pipe cleaner twist showing on the legs and I and it, you can cover it up but you get this nice skinny leg um, if you skip the pipe cleaner. If you don't have tacky wrap and you're using the pipe cleaner you're going to wrap a pipe cleaner down each leg just loosely you don't need to you're just trying to get it on there so that when you wrap the wool it has some grip and then make sure you have enough to fold the tip over the toe. And then you can use, because one's not quite long enough to do both, um, to fold in half and hit bo both front legs, um, you can use what's sticking up to come up the neck and then, um, you know, do each hind leg and get the body and tail with the, with the um, fifth one. Um, I think I'm going to show it without the pipe cleaner. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, do you still do the head and the body? Um, what I do is I don't do the legs or the head, but I do put one on the body because I can make the tail with it. So I'm going to forego the rest of them. So the pack will come with them no matter what. Right. You may or may not use them. Right. And then I'm just going to wrap the body and then she can have, go ahead and make this a little longer than you think because it's going to get built up with wool. So make it a good healthy two, two and a half inches, I'd say. Got to leave room for the deer behind. Yes. So as long as it comes back. Okay. 
that's good. Then I'm going to use the tacky wrap bun. Mine's a little grubby because I've been rubbing wool on it. And I'm just going to get some onto the feet and legs. And I'm just kind of hitting each side, making sure to get the feet pretty good because I want that wool to stick there well before um, I, I swax it. Fascinating. <laughs> is it? It, it kind of <laughs> is. <laughs> it's pretty exciting, this product. I'm, you know, it's got a lot of possibilities and I'm going to get the neck and head. All right, so now it's sticky. <laughs> you will see. All right. All right, I'm going to wrap the legs first, actually. We could do the feet, but having a little bit of wool on the legs is actually going to help us keep the wool on the feet. So I'm going to start with... Um, about a six inch piece of the tan core and I'm going to split it in half lengthwise and then I'm going to stretch that out nice and thin because I just want to do um, a nice smooth wrap down these legs. I could have used a much shorter piece. This is going to do two legs probably. So once I stretch that out, see it's almost 14 inches long, I'm going to um, split that in half. And I just get it going at the top. I can kind of overlap my first wrap before I start moving down the leg and that helps, you know, hold it on and keep it from going anywhere. I feel a little klutzy today, Milo. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make these dainty deer with my klutziness going on. It's good, you can do it. I can do it. You so real skinny. I'm pulling it as I go, smoothing as I go. When you get, when you wrap and you get fuzz like that, just get rid of it. Especially this um, core isn't quite as smooth as the off-white chunky core. But it's nice to get the tan on the legs rather than trying to cover up white. When I get down towards the last inch, I want to pull extra off and then just let this taper to nothing because I'm going to wrap the actual end of the foot in black. When I have that little bit, I just kind of keep twisting it around until it's all smooth and it will want to stick to itself. So I don't have to needle felt it. You're not really looking that clumsy. Oh, good. Maybe it's because I'm all hopped up on cookies and tea. <laughs> a little shaky. I got the shakes, the sugar shakes. So what do you get if you cross Bambi with a ghost? I don't know. Bamboo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It's a good one. Speaking of bamboo. Yes. See, I knew it would be a good segue into the bamboo conversation. Totally stresses me out this time of year. If anybody that's watching has bamboo on their property, they know what I'm talking about. It just comes up relentlessly everywhere, and I'm trying to knock it down. I practice my, my kicks. It's just so invasive. Now you'll think of my hilarious joke oh, and it no. will lighten the stress of your moment. <laughs> All right, and then I can split this other half in half. So basically, I pulled a piece that's probably a little longer than six inches and I've ended up quartering it um, for each leg. Those are some dainty little legs. Mm-hmm. 
they're going to get more. I have some dear proverbs. <gasps> dear proverbs. Yes, you always get excited over the proverbs. I do. I feel like they let you down a little bit. The so donkey maybe ones today... were good. They were deep. You were good at interpreting them. Oh, I was yeah. just like, what? <laughs> Of course, I'm also concentrating on something yes, else. Yes, yes, you are. Here's one that is very confusing to me. Okay. Perhaps we can discuss it. Lions in time of peace, deer in war. Hmm. Why that? Why? <laughs> Lions in times of peace. What are they talking about? I don't know. It's what this... you, what what you're gonna see? What you're it's gonna? It's a Latin proverb. Mm. Hmm. It seems opposite and wrong. Hmm. Peace and war. Chinese proverb. This is a good one. Deer hunter, waste not your arrow on the hare. <laughs> <laughs> the language just cracks me up. I'm just going to talk like that all the time. <laughs> rap not too loosely. <laughs> Waste you not should. your stabbing on the rap. <laughs> rap tightly, and thou shalt not need to stab <laughs> relentlessly. <laughs> Dear Hunter. Oh, Felter. <laughs> have tacky rap. <laughs> Use, Use not, not pipe cleaners. cleaners. <laughs> I could write proverbs. Yes. Seraphina felting proverbs. It's a thing. Okay. How's our swax? Is it hot yet? Doesn't matter. You know why? It is. Because <clears throat> I have tacky wrap. It is hot. Okay. So, these are a little bit sticky because... I'm putting this stuff on it. This clever stuff. So if I didn't have this, um, it would be, you would have your pipe cleaner, which would be fine. You could wrap your wool and the tip would be the fuzzy pipe cleaner and you would be able to get your black on there. Um, or if you have swax, you could put a little bit of melted swax on the tip, press your wool into it, and then put swax on top. So many options. I'm um, but I have tacky wrap, so I'm going to take thin strip of black, just a little two inch thin strip. It doesn't matter how high I come up because it's going to get covered again. So, um, you know, you don't have to keep your black only where you want the hoof. This is black core. This is black core. <coughs> and... I'm not too worried about that wire tip because my black swax is going to cover it. Now, if I had pipe cleaner on there, that would help me with that. Break not your needle on the wire. <laughs> we should have the door open. Well, we would hear the birds, but we would also hear... We would hear cars and dogs yeah. barking because of cars. Yes. And walkie-talkie, our neighbor. Oh, yes. <laughs> that could be interesting, though. Could be. We've got some fun neighbors. Mm-hmm. I didn't say in the beginning of the video and sometimes I try to say it. Um, watch the video first. <laughs> watch, how can we make that a proverb? <laughs> Felters. The video Don't you felt preview. until... <laughs> until you have seen the video. Yeah, watching the video just helps you understand where you're headed so that you have more success. Beware of blindly following Sarah <laughs> and 
and just pressing play. All right. That's how I roll. Me too. I say that to people, but if I were following a tutorial, I'd be like, I got my stuff. <laughs> I'm doing it <laughs> right now. That's kind of the way I do things. We good? Yes, we are melted. Okay, so my feet are on. I'm gonna use the applicator, the color shaper, to apply some swax all around, getting the tip. And you know, it's the better it's felted, the better. See all that crazy fuzz sticking off? But so this is a good trick. Have a little bunny butter to get on your hands. It makes them slippery. And then um, it'll just it'll just stick. You can just press it on. And you can kind of shape it. And that gives you that shiny little shiny little foot. On on this scale, this size, we're getting the look of the foot without doing a cloven foot. It's just not big enough. And then you would end up with like a great big chunky foot that did not look right relative to the size of your dough. Just gotta wait a few seconds. I'm waiting for you to bust out in Sound of Music, Milo. Why is that? The do oh, the doe deer song. Yes. I didn't even think of it. There's a few bad jokes on the internet, and by bad I don't mean. Do you mean naughty? Dumb. I mean one is so naughty I can't even say it <gasps> on film. Really? I. It's pretty bad. I'll tell you during a break. All right. I mean it's funny. If there's any kids felting with their parents, <laughs> the parents would not be happy <laughs> that we started a conversation. Okay. Probably. Okay. All right. That's done deal. We're going to do the same thing to the little fawn when it's time, but um, it's good to get those nice and secured Fancy. before you move on. Watch out for the movement think, of the I melted know, swax. I'm going to turn it off because... Yes. We're not going to get that far today. I love my bunny butter. I just keep... I, I rubbed it into my um, Zuli tool and my... Oh, oh, geez. Sorry about that. Okay. We are ready for off-white core. That's exciting. Um, we're going to work with about 8-inch pieces, which is sort of the side of your stab it, and then quarters just easier to manage because it's so chunky and then give it a nice stretch and smoothening first one we'll just go up the neck and the idea on the head and nose here is a cone shape. So I'm going to go out to the nose and back and that's going to start to give me that tapered tapered nose and then come back. Okay, and we'll do a chest wrap with one. So I'm going to go around the body and then over the shoulder, under the opposite armpit, over the back, and then from this armpit over the shoulder. So I've made an X across the chest. And then I'll just finish the rest out around the body. This is just a lot of wrapping. Now I'll do one along the body. And it doesn't matter if you go front to back or back to front. In this case, I'm 
it's easier for me to go front to back. I'm going to get back here. I can keep turn around and go the other way. Because we just got some building up to do here. This is the easy part. Let's get um Mm, I think I'll take this fourth piece and go base of the neck up and then back. And then that's going to start to give me that, um, you know, a little narrower here and wider at the bottom. Do you know another word for the female deer besides a doe? Um... I don't. I never heard it. It says they are called a doe or a hind. Huh. So the males are bucks. Or fronts. <laughs> bucks or stags. Oh, yeah. And then it's a doe or a hind. But I've I'm never not... heard the hind. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should take offense to that term or not. The hind? <laughs> yeah. Like, what could that she possibly... always walk behind? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what that... I mean, I'm kidding. But it's just it's just interesting. Why behind? Yeah. All right. We're going to get another 8-inch piece. Split it into quarters. Let's put... Let's do another chest wrap and another body wrap over the back and then I'm coming over a shoulder under the opposite armpit over the back and then under this armpit and over the other shoulder and that that wrap just gets that wool onto that um, shoulder that we where our two wires come together and then I'm going to do the body again. And then we're going to work on the legs a little bit. So I didn't know this, but there's something, there's a Chinese water deer. Uh-huh. I think <clears throat> I've seen pictures of that. They don't grow antlers. All other species of deer do. Well, the males. Instead of antlers, they have extra long canine teeth. Yeah, yeah, I've seen pictures of that. They're they're That's wild. Really interesting looking. Okay, let's take one of these quarters and split it in half. And we're gonna do half on the tail and half on the head. So on the tail I'm just gonna wrap you can pretty much squeeze that wire together. So just kind of went out and back. Am I staying on camera? I'm reading facts, so I wouldn't know. It'd okay. probably be helpful for me to pay. Yes. Okay. I mean, I realize it's that's free and all, but we still want <laughs> we want it to be so good, so good for our viewers. Um, I have another half, and I'm gonna do really try and get the back half of the head. So I'll come down towards the nose. Oh, there's walkie talkie as we, as we film. <laughs> Probably can't hear her. I can, but. I know, I mean the, the viewers. What's she talking about? I don't know, important things all day as she walks revisiting my armature because things have gotten a little crazy okay okay now we need some wool at the tops of the legs here so let me look at my notes <laughs> and see what did I do are you ready to felt yes we're gonna make our workout video, Milo. <laughs> um, I have one more quarter here and I'm gonna split it in half. And I'm gonna go 
from the body to the elbow and back to the body. And that pulls this leg together with the body. So I go down and then I turn around and come back up. Yes, we're gonna make, it's like a stretch, not really a workout video, but like a stop felting, stand up, move your body, because people are like hurting themselves. People are hurting themselves and we want we want longevity. Longevity felting. Like a slow burning ember. <laughs> Not a flame that burns out. That could be a proverb. Yes. Felt like an ember and thou shalt felt forever. <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting fiber on the top of the legs, eh? Yes. The trick with this move is to start on the body and end on the body. And it brings the leg together. And you also get that kind of tapered, tapered shape there. Tapered shapered. So we talked about the joke that I said was too bad. I think you should tell the joke. We're tell the joke we're gonna we're just gonna let it hang out there for people to figure it out what do you get when you cross a pickle and a deer now i said a spear buck <laughs> <laughs> but you could you could you could figure out the other answer okay we need another eight inch piece quartered I wonder if I'm gonna get emails from people. They are. You are. To answer. You're gonna get hate mail. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I have. You're gonna have to feel, I know. It's so crazy that there's Milo haters. I'm gonna do the same thing on this hind leg. Come down to the stifle and go back up. And that was with a whole eight inch quarter. Sorry, I was so distracted by our conversation. And your stomach. Yes, <laughs> having a little post lunch settling. Okay. So deer jerky is pretty tasty. Is it? Is this a joke? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just is. Never had it. Oh, well, maybe I have. I don't know. <laughs> you sound like a fish tank. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make fun of you because mine doesn't happen to be making any noise at the moment. But sometimes it does. We're about ready to make some shapes, which is Ooh. exciting. I know. We got another wrap. We got to do another one more, one more body wrap it's here. Skinny. Yeah. What's this? Is that a half a piece? I think that's half a piece. That I never quartered. So one wrap or two? I don't know. I think two, maybe. No, nah, I think one. So it's about the it's about an inch wide, all the way around. Like a nice cigar. Let's start smoking a cigar. <laughs> I'm just making fun of myself because I don't know what a nice cigar is. Okay. Now what do you do, Milo? Make a, make a deer. Shapes, you said uh, shapes. We're gonna do shapes. I'm trying to decide whether to do shapes or legs. Um, <clears throat> let's take some of our um, tan core and get a little bit more detail on the legs. That way, um, then we'll make body shapes and then we'll be able to do color. Um, I'm gonna take a four inch 
uh, like a five inch piece and make quarters. So this is gonna get rather thin because this core wool isn't as thick as the chunky core. Those are a little bigger, so I'm gonna save them for the back. I'm gonna use these on the front. And then I'm gonna stretch it out nice and thin because all I want to get here is a wrap from the upper leg to the knee and then a little crisscross to make a little knee bump. So I'm gonna work really thin so I can really target where I want this to go. Yeah, that five inch piece is stretched out to like I know. 10 inches. That's why it's so deceptive. Then when I'm halfway between the elbow and the pastern, I want to I'm thinking of an X as I do this. See how thin I'm keeping it so I can really put the wool right to make that little bump. Somebody's fiber just broke. Uh, bummer. We're with you. <laughs> you can do it. Then when I have that little bump, now I'm going to keep it thin and just go back up. And this does two things. It makes the upper leg a little thicker than the lower leg and gives us our knee bump. And then I'll just let it kind of fringe into that wrapped elbow area. Now I'm gonna grab a single needle and really stab that knee a little bit because I want it to stay I want it to stay put. I don't want it to drift up or down or stretch out. Okay, and I'll do the other leg, which is conveniently close to me now. So quiet now, everybody left. Yeah. Just you and I and the deer. Actually, Talbot's out there, back there. We told him to come say hello. I wonder if he will. I know. So shy. Italian proverb. Okay. Oh, an Italian control. proverb about deer. Well, it's got a whole lot going on. Okay. Brace yourself. Okay. <clears throat> to go safely through the world, okay. you must have the eye of a falcon. Yes. The ear of an ass. <gasps> For sure. The face of an ape. What? Just saying. The mouth of a pig. Okay. <laughs> the shoulders of a camel. Interesting. And the legs of a deer. I got it all, except, <laughs> except for the face of the ape and the shoulders of the camel. I think someone needs to felt that proverb. <laughs> There's a challenge. Right there. Mm hmm. Those wacky Italians. Okay, on these hind legs, I'm gonna do the same thing on the hock joint. Stretch out my pieces. Start up at the stifle. Wait a minute. What's the matter? I think I make a tendon. I do oh. make a tendon. Let's make a tendon. This is a fun little trick. Um, I need a toothpick. A toothpick. 